Houston Astros. There, I did it. Anyways, originally established in 1962, the team starred life as the Houston Colt 45s, a name that would totally go over well today, until changing to the Astros in 1965. Of course, they were originally in the National League before switching to the American League in 2013, so both leagues would consist of 15 teams. They're also the only team to play in the World Series as both the NL and AL representative, and also the only team to lose the World Series as both the NL and AL representative. Ha ha ha! So with the move, the team decided to bring in new uniforms after wearing brick red and black since the opening of Minute Maid Park in 2000, as well as being navy and gold from 94 to 99. The team brought back their old color scheme of navy blue and orange, as well as drawing inspiration from their 65 to 74 look, though some of the 75 to 86 look snuck its way in. The home white is a nice clean look paired with their all navy blue hat that would be so much greater if it wasn't associated with cheating. Seriously, that scandal made me reconsider consider adding Astros anything to my collection. Okay, I promise, no more references to that. The road jersey is equally good, and lately has been paired with the all-navy blue hat, but it was previously paired with a navy hat with an orange bill, though it sometimes makes an appearance here and there. The orange jersey is nice, and like Baltimore, doesn't feature an obnoxious shade of orange. Now, their navy blue alternate was refreshed in 2015, going from practice jersey to something that would actually see the field. It also used to be paired with an orange hat until 2018, but the most interesting part is how they snuck in the rainbow guts on the side. Nice touch. Wish I could say the same with their City Connect. Like other jerseys, I've had people come to my comment section and defend it and there's nothing wrong with that. I still like Space City on the front and the energy glow on the piping to mimic the rainbow guts is cool, but it's a little plain and it's still hard to see the grid pattern on the sleeve from far away. Thankfully the rest of Houston's lineup, while a little plain compared to Toronto, still looks like something that could exist in any decade. which is frankly the mark of the beginning of a timeless design. Since this design is now more than 10 years old, they've been promoted to decent. Come back tomorrow when we travel to the town for one last time to look at the Oakland Athletics.